Well, I cannot believe it. I am standing here with Neil McCoy. We've just been talking. How are you, Neil? I'm fine, sweetheart, except I want to hear you sing. Do you ever sing on this program? You know, I, on the show, I do sing. I've got a couple of videos, but probably you ought to produce me. What do you think? I think I should, too. You got any money? I got a little bit. Hey, <laughs> that's why I got the television show. You know, I'm trying to get some money and people to donate money. I understand. So, but you know what? I was just told that you're the nicest person in country music. So, mate, who told you that? I'm not going to say who told me, but that's what they just told me. Well, that's nice of them. So what do you do? I mean, you live in Texas? Yes, ma'am. Still live in Texas. Live in Longview, Texas, northeast. And uh, and we still run these old roads. We perform 130, 140 shows a year. So we got a lot of work. Yeah. Well, you look so young. <laughs> the road has been good to you. Yeah. You're sweet. Thank you. You're not, now you're trying to get money from me. And I don't have you. Well, okay. Y'all don't. Y'all didn't hear that. But um, so you do about 100 and, 160 dates a uh, year? About, about 140 a year. Yes, ma'am. Too many. Well, do you ever sleep? I was asking Matt Kinnon that. Do you ever sleep? Now, I mean, I know that you're big time and everything, but when you're on the road, I was looking at your bus. But, you know, when I was traveling, it was like, ah, this is really, it's not as easy as what people think. They think, okay, you're just a star. and But you know what? You're a human being, too, like we are. You haven't got used to it. You have to stay out there a little bit longer. See, you're too young. Oh, he's being so nice. He really wants to be my producer, yeah. The longer you're out there, you get used to these old bus rides. And then you really get to a point. I've been doing this for a lot of years, probably about 30 years. So there, you get to a point where it's a little tougher to sleep at home once you get to the house because you get so used to moving, yeah. So you like that little bus ride up and down, up yes, and down. Well, you said that long enough. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I should get back out of there. So uh, hang on. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh, man. Neil is 51? Get out of here. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. What do you think about Country Cross? And this is the first time that you've been here. What do you think? This is my, I, I think it's uh, wonderful what they're doing, what Ronnie and his whole group of folks are doing down here. They're, they're giving some of us older acts an opportunity to, uh, to get involved and, and get our product out, and they're trying to help some of us by signing us to record it. They haven't signed me yet, but I'm working on them. I'm trying to suck up to them right now, can you tell? But giving some of us artists an opportunity to get our music out in some different ways and uh, and with the, the things they've got here and the things they're building, I think it's really neat. They're putting a lot of people to work around here, and, and they're just giving these folks that, not just around this area, but p people who come from all over an opportunity to come in here and have some fun. And, and I think they're doing a great job. You know, I don't know all the inner workings. I know they have some, there's some controversy that goes on with some of this, but, but I'm just here to entertain people. That's really what it's all about anyway. Neil, I can't get enough of you. You're really fun. <laughs> Neil McCoy, you would never think he was one of these snooty people. Oh, no, no, no. You you look like a ball player right now, too. You know, when you walked over, I was like, who is that guy? Like, oh, it's Neil McCoy. So, well, how long? Have you been singing all your life? I have, yes, ma'am. I, I guess about, I don't know, professionally, 31 years, 30, 31 years, something like that. Long time. Where did you start singing? Started singing... Of course, I did it all, you know, through through school and then into college. And then uh, after I got out of college, started doing some big band stuff, some easy listening stuff, some crooning stuff. And then I got a, I, 1981, I met Charlie Pride and got into country music and kind of been running with that for a while. So you can sing a little jazz? I can. Yeah, what you want to I, I could if that music wasn't so loud. Man. I want to hear you sing. I want to hear you sing. We'll do that. You know, when we get off this, me and you going to have to write a duet. I can already tell. There's a kindred spirit here. I understand. Can you sing as good as you are pretty? Oh, you're being nice, Neil. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, they say I can. <laughs> All right, good. Well, then you'll be okay. I'm, I look forward to hearing great things from you. Yeah, thank you so much, Neil. This was great. Thank you. Neil McCoy. Nice to meet you.